Hi there, Ken from Audio Talk. This is how you connect a volume control on your AOX line, like between a Bluetooth streamer and an amplifier. So first of all, you got your common out on your far left here, so looked at that, and then you got your output to the amplifier plus signals, left and right, and then you got your input from your AOX line. So, um, it's essentially, you could be like you're connecting a amplifier, a class D board to a Bluetooth streamer. So the first thing I do is to put some solder on every leg, uh, just to make it, just it easy to make the final connections. So I'll do the same to the wires as well. We'll look at that in a moment. But so everything gets some, some solder there. And uh, again, on your um, far left, you got your common, your minus, and in the middle, you got your output to the amplifier. And then on the uh, other side, the far right, you got your uh, signal in plus left and right. So we need to remove the insulation. Here's first a JST connector that's gonna go to the amplifier. And it makes sure to not to hurt the insulation on the on the two plus lines going inside and you need to separate all the little strands of your ground wire and get those all um, uh, twisted together and it's important that you don't have any strands left that could potentially touch the plus signal because that will be a short and so also we need to remove uh, some uh, of the insulation from the two plus lines they're going to be connected in the middle of the potentiometer and so we're going to give that some some solder and again just want to make sure this is a 10k ohm potentiometer and um, it's logarithmic it's the way that how much if you turn up and down it makes more sense uh, it will follow the the perceived volume much much better than a linear a linear will work, but it will be uh, up at full hammer, basically at, at half volume. So it, it wouldn't make sense to use. Uh, so try to, to get a logarithmic potentiometer. And so we're gonna give that some solder. So we also collect all the strands and we're gonna do the same thing to our AUX line coming in, like from a Bluetooth streamer, your phone, and uh, do the same thing. I'm gonna separate all the ground wires together and kind of put those together. We're actually not gonna give those solder. We're gonna put those together with the other one and, and then solder all the ground wires together. So we'll see that in a sec. And here, and we'll also, and, and try not to take too much of the insulation off of the plus lines. You want the insulation of the wire to get as close to the potentiometer as you possibly can so that it's the wires are protected from not shorting out on each other you know from the other connections once you it gets really uh, tight in there with on the potentiometer itself and keep the soldering iron clean that makes a uh, for a, a much much easier uh, solder um, they have a tendency of needing a tremendous amount of heat if if it's not clean it won't get good um, won't get good so twist the two ground wires together now so and then solder all those up and then after you solder them up what I like to do to make myself eat my it easy on myself is that I, I make a little I make a little knee, you know, I make a little bend at the very end so I can hold that against the first soldering point. Um, I just think that's easier. So I can like kind of hook that against the first connector and then heat up the two pieces with the soldering and then let that melt together and then it's easy to do number two like that so 
first the plus signals going to the amplifier so it's left and right so that's why they need to be separated into the two parts of the potentiometer that's what separates a stereo from a mono is that you have those you have two rows of three connectors so you have left on one row and right on the other row so that's our inputs and then oh sorry that's in the middle we have our outputs to the amplifier and then in the end here on the very outside you will have the input from the AUX signal coming in and uh, same thing you get that and it can be a little bit of a challenge you know because uh, the lines get pretty hot uh, so that's also why you want to really keep it clean so that uh, it solders easy on there and make sure yeah to just to continuously clean the soldering iron throughout the session you can even give it some flux on the connectors if you have it that that would be great but I just want to make something basic out of this video so that you know anybody can do it just as long as you have a soldering iron and some solder okay so yep so we connect all the grounds together on one side and then you have the output to the amplifier left and right in the middle of the potentiometer and on the very right side you have the input coming from the AUX signal and it was a 10k ohms potentiometer and logarithmic and so just make sure that nothing is touching each other except for the grounds you don't care about those they they can just touch each other all they want but the plus signals all the four plus signals need to be kept very separate so here's Ken from audio talk I hope you got something out of it have fun with your projects take care bye